All right, so we are definitely a little bit late to this one, but I only recently found the time to finish their EZA, so my apologies. But today we are going to be showcasing the new EZA LR Super Saiyan Goku Jr. and Super Saiyan Vegeta Jr. on the global side of the game. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over their details. So if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about, you know, like a minute or so. All right. So starting with their leader skill, it's uh, GT Heroes or World Tournament Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Their 12 key super attack raises attack and causes colossal damage and lowers defense. And then their 18 key super raises attack, causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack. Their passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 70% plus an additional key plus 2 per rainbow key sphere obtained. GT Heroes or World Tournament Category Allies key plus 1, an attack and defense plus 20%, launches an additional attack that is a medium chance of becoming a super attack with 5 or more key spheres obtained, and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there is a Goku's family or a Vegeta's family category enemy. Their links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Lineage, GT, uh, Shattering the Limit and Legendary Power, and their categories are World Tournament, Hybrid Saiyans, Youth, Join Forces, Super Saiyans, and GT Heroes. So that is the new LR, Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. And as far as showcasing their full potential goes, the events that make the most sense would be either of the Legendary Goku events or the Legendary Vegeta event, since they get that additional attack against Goku's family and Vegeta's family, and they also infinitely stack attack on both their supers, right? So today we are on the legendary Vegeta event, and we're starting with 164,000 defense on this first rotation, of course, with the support from the uh, tech Gohan and Goten, but nonetheless, considering they haven't stacked any of the additional defense on their passive yet, that's really good. That's very impressive, and they will be much more tanky later on in the event. So, uh, why don't we start by putting them in this second slot, because they get more uh, key there, and they also, rather more links there, and they also uh, will probably be able to get more orbs as well. So, let me see, if I give just the one orb to the Gohan and Goten, that's going to be... 7 and a full 24 key super for the LR and uh, we'll just give whatever to the GT Vegeta so uh, I'm hoping that these guys don't do too much damage because I want to see multiple supers from the LR Goku and Vegeta Jr. oh yeah we're good okay we're fine oh additional super that should be okay too unless they crit but even then they shouldn't hit that hard okay and first super attack, just under 4 mil. Just under 4 mil. And this is without having stacked any attack yet. Now we have two supers, so that's going to be two stacks of attack. Possibly a third super, possibly a fourth super actually. So these guys do have the potential. Oh my god, okay, three supers. <laughs> so three attack stacks now. And if we get one more, that would be perfect. Okay, no additional super but or rather no fourth super there were two additional supers but that was um that was impressive <laughs> to say the least that was really impressive so basically out of the seven possible stacks of defense on their passive we got four of them on the first turn so we should see a pretty significant increase in their defense next turn along with a pretty big uh, boost in their damage as well. So keep in mind the first super was only uh, 3.9. The additionals were much better at like, you know, wait, sorry, no, they weren't better, but they were pretty good at 2.3, 2.5, something like that. But now we should see them break 4 million pretty easily. And once again, I think what I'm gonna do is leave 
ELR in the middle, 236,000 defense though. That is an increase from 164k, so basically their defense went up by 70k in one turn, right, after one turn of attacks. And let's just give, let's see, a single or hmm, is there a way to get five orbs? I guess I could just give these, maybe, to the Gohan and Goten. Which would allow us to give six orbs. Yeah, to the LR. This is gonna be another 24 key super. Perfect. And we'll give these ones the Super Saiyan 4. Vegeta. Oh my goodness. It's been a while since I've done the legendary Vegeta event, so. I guess I forgot how hard this guy could hit. Actually, no, no, that's not the problem. The problem is, I believe the Gohan and Goten actually. Um. Get their defense on their super attack so they're actually not a good first slot unit i gotta go check that i gotta go check that i always forget like which units get defense when right so there you go okay massive difference right there and then for the lr 4.4 mil up from 3.9 additional super okay there's a normal come on give me a super two normals one more and there's the super attack okay so it seems like the two additional attacks we got from the passive did not become super attacks, but we did get the uh, second super from their hidden potential system. So as far as the build goes, um, I still mainly focused on crit in their hidden potential system just because I feel like they get enough additional super attacks or additional attacks in general from their passive and they don't get any additional crit chance. So to me, it makes a lot more sense to... Um, you know, give them more crit so they can crit more often. But if you want to give them more additional, or at least have a balance of the two, that also makes a lot of sense. So it's really up to you. I think either way works, to be honest. But I think crit, for me, is better. Uh, now, do I want to keep the GT Goku and Vegeta together? Or do I want to keep the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? Or sorry, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, so that we can have a Super Saiyan 4 rotation later on. I think that does sound better to me, so let's go for that. I'm gonna keep Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then let's also keep the GT Goku for now. Um, I'm gonna try to save some orbs, some rainbow orbs for the LR, although I think there's a very low chance that this STR Vegeta is gonna survive the Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku Super, because he just hits so hard. Like, he hits really, really hard. Okay, he actually survived that. That's good. And GT Goku has type disadvantage, so we might actually make it to the next rotation before we move on to the next enemy. Oh my! Hold on just a minute. Yo, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not that squishy, right? Super Saiyan 4 Goku really isn't that squishy. How come we took so much damage? Am I missing something here? Because if I remember correctly, he actually gets some decent defense. So why did we take 200k from that super right there? Like, that's just... That's just ridiculous. Um, okay, well, anyways. Anyways. 316k defense for the LR Vegeta Jr. and Goku Jr. Which is really, really, really good. And... Uh, I'm actually going to put them in that... Ooh, you know what? I want to, but I shouldn't. Let me get just so much more of a boost. Or maybe... I'll just go like that. Yeah, because I don't feel safe about putting the Gohan and Goten, honestly, in the first slot right now, considering how much damage you took with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, yeah, let's put them in the first slot. We are going to lose a little bit of attack, but not too much. And, yeah, defense is still over 300,000 in this case. So we shouldn't have to worry about any supers or anything like that from this guy. Over 5 mil attack now with the double supports. And there he goes. Vegeta's dead. He had no chance of surviving that. I would have liked to see more attacks, obviously, more additionals. But there's just no chance he was going to survive that. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so... Um, I don't know. Is it time to pop an item, possibly? It might be, just because, uh, 
I'm, I'm concerned, man. After what happened last turn, I'm definitely concerned. So I'm gonna... Man. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do that. And then we should be fine. Defensively, right? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I know the GT Goku is gonna be fine. I'm just concerned about the Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be okay. But I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not so sure anymore. Eight point was that eight point six? <laughs> was that eight point six for the GT Goku? Did I see that right? That's crazy. Oh my god, that is insane. Um so yeah, we had to break up the Super Saiyan 4's rotation. Not something I wanted to do, but I think it was just something that was necessary. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't get super here. Thank God. Okay. And... Is he gonna survive this? Okay, he does survive, but just barely. So one more super should do it. One more super here from someone like the uh, LR. Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr., for example, should finish the job, so... Now let's just give him 10 orbs, because why not? And... Let's move on to the next phase, which is the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So we're looking at 4.6 now. Obviously lost the 40% support from the... Uh... What do you call it? From, from the Gohan and Goten. The GT Gohan and Goten. But we got this clutch additional super which should now finish him there it is and here we go super sam blue goku um i think now we should be fine to put super sam for goku did i say goku before super sam blue vegeta is who we're facing right um i think we should be fine now to leave him there but Man, I'm still, I'm, I'm still worried. <laughs> I'm still worried, I gotta be honest. But I think we'll be fine, so I'm, I'm gonna leave things as they are. There you go, eight orbs for the GT Goku, and... You know, screw it. Just to be safe, let's pop him as a snake. It's not, it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. We're not here to showcase these guys. We're here to showcase the LR. So might as well stay alive, right? Until we can get to the Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. again. But yeah, I think I'm really being overcautious. But just once again, you know, it's it's uh it's a little worrisome when you see Super Saiyan 4 Goku take 200k from a super like two stages ago or two phases ago, right? It was against like the Super Saiyan Vegeta. It just like made no sense to me. Unless our t our defense was lowered already or I don't know, I don't understand it. Maybe I missed something. I might have missed something. If I did, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Um, sometimes I'm so focused on like what I'm trying to say, you know, that I don't pay attention to what is happening in the game. <laughs> like especially during like races and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys know I'm prone to do that. So, yeah, let me know if I missed anything or if uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is just not as tanky as I maybe made him out to be or wanted him to be. But, uh, yeah, anyways, for this rotation, let's put the Gohan in that first slot, even though he has, like, no defense to speak of. I think it should be fine. Yeah, I think it should be fine. Leave him there. I hope at least. We'll see. Okay, so, I'm gonna leave him there. I'm not even gonna give him a super, because he's not gonna do any damage either way. That's gonna be... A nice 24k super for the LR, and then here we go. That's a lot of attacks, though. That's like, oh yeah, okay. So even with the damage reduction, it's not looking great. Hopefully, no super here. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Good job. Okay, and we're getting over five mil. Oh, of course he had to dodge that. Of course he had to dodge that. <laughs> Hey, at least we got three additional attacks. At least we got three additional normal attacks. And getting super here for, let's see, 240k. Now, 
Yeah, I guess it makes sense, because we were just under 300,000 defense, which is good, but still, you know, like, you're still gonna take some damage without any items um, when you get to the later stages of the GT Legendary Goku event or the Legendary Vegeta event, so, understandable. It's, it's understandable. I get it. Alright, now, with that said, I'm still gonna pop another Princess Snake here, because things are looking a little bit... a little bit dire. <laughs> right now and that's gonna be 10 orbs for the GT Goku I'm gonna give I don't know a million orbs to the GT Vegeta and dude we might actually kill the SSB Vegeta this turn I don't know I'm kind of concerned that we're gonna do too much damage honestly let's see um so yeah over 8 mil for the GT Goku um, hopefully he doesn't crit, because that would be a bad time for Vegeta, and a bad time for our showcase purposes. So, uh, don't do it, Goku. Don't do it. Usually I want you to crit. I don't want you to crit right now, though. You can hold back and relax. Chill out. Oh, additional super. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why? If we kill the go- oh my god, if we kill the Vegeta here with this rotation... Um... I mean, I guess on the one hand, it's a testament to just how ridiculously busted... You know, the... Um... GT Heroes team still is, right? How ridiculously OP it is. But at the same time, it's gonna ruin my showcase, man. Yo, we're about to kill him right now. If yo, if Super Saiyan 4 Goku crits, which he has a good chance to, then it's gonna be over. Oh, thank God. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, I needed that. I really needed him to not crit there. And now we are going to finish things off with the LR. Hmm, hold on a second. What if I did this? That would be actually better right for the LR as far as damage goes yeah no they get more attack in the middle with uh, both supports linked uh it's a little risky it's a little risky but I'm gonna I'm go for it screw it and when I say risk I don't mean like I think they're gonna die the risk is that like what if they additional super like three times or like launch three supers and then kill the SSB Vegeta. That would be really unfortunate. That would be stupidly unfortunate. Please stop. Okay, thank you. Okay, here we go. Final super for the LR. Should be a good one. Should be a very good one. And there we have it. Over 6 mil for the first time in the showcase. And that should do it. There you go. All right, well, we still got the ending that I wanted. I still just want to see one more super attack from the Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr., and we got that. So, crisis averted, I guess, because if that hadn't have happened, wait, it's not even English. If that hadn't have happened, if that hadn't happened, <laughs> then I would have had to throw, throw this uh, showcase out the window, you know, and start again. So, I'm glad it worked out in that sense, and, uh, there is your LR Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. EZA Showcase, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. I think they're actually really, really good. I think they're very impressive for a free-to-play LR for sure. Um, you know, great damage, great defense. Uh, the only thing I would say, the only negative I would say is uh, to get the most out of them, obviously, you have to be in specific events where you're facing a good amount of Goku's family or Vegeta's family enemies. But the good thing is, there are three events in this game, three end game events in this game where they come in very handy, right? The Legendary Goku event, the GT Legendary Goku event, and the Legendary Vegeta event. So I don't think it's a huge deal overall. And um, they kind of remind me, honestly, of the LR Kale and Khalifla with like all the additional attacks and supers, right? Except instead of stacking. Uh, you know, dodge chance and defense, they're stacking attack and some defense on their passive, but mostly attack, right? So, uh, yeah, there you have it. That is 
the showcase for the new free-to-play LR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.